Welcome back to the channel. I now have a squealing 350Z. And we're gonna be slapping some new wheels on this car. Here they are. These are pretty curb rashed and messed up, but they're takeoffs off of another Z. <clears throat> a non Brembo 350Z, which is a bit of an issue for me because offset is a fairly big thing with Brembo cars. So I had these wheels mocked up and I had to go with a 15 mil spacer. So it is what it is. Not much I can do for now. These wheels are gonna be temporary. The spacers will come off. I plan to do track use with this car and I'm not, I don't like spacers on track use. So I will get proper wheels, but like I said in the very first video, this is gonna be a generic fit up of the car to, for me to figure out what I want. And lots of the parts are gonna be coming off of this thing and sold. This is just for me to figure out what I want. So I guess we gotta repair the alternator because that bearing sounds left the chat. Okay, this is what I call a Hail Mary. So you have to pull the fan shroud in order to get the alternator bolt that's on the top side, right? That guy that's right over top of that pulley right there. Oh, I'll show you from the bottom, right here. So that bolt right there, you cannot get out of the car unless you pull this fan shroud. Fan shroud has to come out. Okay, fine, dandy. To get the fan shroud out, you gotta pull the upper rad hose. So, hence my Hail Mary. Cardboard, small bucket, A for effort, let's send it. Let's give this the best shot we got. You're gonna wanna see the mess on this one, so let's see what we can make happen. I'm gonna line that up right there. Let's go. Ugh. This is gonna be messy and it's gonna be an absolute disaster, but it's gonna be funny for you guys anyway, not so much for me, because I've gotta deal with the big mess. This is gonna spray all over my face and a few other places more than likely. And I'm gonna try to pop this up to the top. A for effort. There's just so much stuff in the way. Whoops. I broke something. I cracked something. I don't know what. Cue the friggin' symphonic music of getting this one bolt out. One, three, wow. Two. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Alternator's out. Time to go get a new one. I don't know. I'm out of breath. I don't even, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what happened. It just. It just happened. Okay, so for context, I'm gonna give you a rough breakdown. Two eight mil bolts on the back side of the alternator go through this bracket. You gotta take those out. Then there's a 14 up here that went up into the alternator here. And then you had the bracket down here that was in an S shape. Those are two 12 moles. Pull, pull all that out. Get the, uh, and then you need to get this. This is the battery lead that leaves the alternator and charges the battery. That's a 12 mil on the back side. Once you get that undone, you have to undo these clips right here that came around and attached on that S bracket. And then this is your alternator signal control. Um, pop that out, boom. After you get that, then the fan shroud comes out, make a big mess just like I did. Pull that out. Once you have all that undone, alternator comes out. All right, I got the new alternator. Time to throw this thing in. Woo! And then it's time for wheels. Be patient. Patience is key. Not with me though, that's not patient. All right, so the brand new alternator is in the car. Okay, the car is all put back together. Woo, I can hear the exhaust. That means that uh, we don't have any more squeals. It's quiet, it's quiet. I'm really happy with this middle of the road stuff. Woo! Hey, I think it's time to put wheels on the car. What do you think, Dev? I think so. <laughs> oh, I'm not even on the camera. There you go. There you go. I think it's time for wheels. Let's do the wheels. Mainly because I need these for my car. Skirt! This is the last time I think you're going to see these wheels on this car. So. 
don't enjoy it while it doesn't last, like me. Ugh. I don't even care if it's You need those lug nuts. I'm sorry. Yeah, I do. <laughs> They're all over the shop now. And I'm doing this. You can publicly shame me as hard as you want, um, but I don't care. I explained why I'm doing this, so if you missed that, you should pay more attention or... Yeah. I, I don't like it either, but I'm doing it, okay? <laughs> it's I'm not tracking the car like this, like, it, yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, that one's a little bitched. <laughs> we'll move on to the next. I had trouble with that one last time. And I know I should start these by hand. Yeah, you but... should. What are you doing? I wonder if it's bitched. It is not bitched because of me. It is bitched because of previous owner things. I'm good at this. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, cut the clip. <laughs> Zoo wee mama. Backs on the fronts, fronts on the back, right? Woo! Stagger. No, I'm just kidding. Reverse stagger. <laughs> reverse stagger. We're doing reverse donuts. Okay. Ah! Thumbnail. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. here we go. This is awesome. I'm not starting these by hand. How many do you think I'm gonna strip, Dev? These are brand new threads. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mm -hmm. strip none. The answer's mm -hmm. none. Mm -hmm. You know the answer's none because Michael. it's not happening. Start stripping, just send it home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah! This is so exciting. Minus the fact that it's snowing outside right now. Classic. And we want to do 350Z things, but it's snowing because we live in no man's land. It's true. Woo! Woo! Is it going to pass Woo! the what? test? What? It's fully extended. Wow. 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 So much gap. Wow. wow. I might as well just like Big crawl gap. in here. You live in there with so much gap. <laughs> Oh, you just wait. We're gonna get that other wheel on. Put my shoe back on. It's going good. It's going good. That's what he says. <laughs> it's gonna look good. Can't wait. Well, I guess we could put this other wheel on. Yeah, get to it. Uh, Clips uh, rolling. Clips rolling. Yep. Going, going. Jeepers. Keep it. Hey, these faces are mint. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> balance who? I am the balance. I bring balance to my own life and faith in my wheel spacers. Uh, uh. Okay, hang on. There's right ways and wrong ways to do this. Is this the wrong way? This is this. <laughs> Don't. That's a bad lug nut. No. It's a bad lug nut. Watch this. Nut. Has nothing to do with my practice. Put it on your lug nut. We're just gonna All pretend that, that lug nut doesn't exist until the very end. And we're gonna send it home. See how good a shaper in here? Okay. Yep. This is the bad girl. Send oh, me home. <laughs> Country roads. Wow. Look at the hot seat. She's right. Okay. Lowering the car. The front of the car. Should I get a good shot of this, probably? Yeah, yeah, I want you to get a shot. Ooh, ooh, that, that might ooh. pass the shoe test. So much gap, so much gap, ooh. Wow. It's like the minions, they're like, ah. Yeah, I wanted enough space to go full lock to full lock and still have suspension travel. I went full hard on the dampening settings for compression. So hopefully I don't run into any fender issues. If I do, I'm gonna have to just raise the car a little bit more. I want this car to drive, it's not a stance unit. This thing needs to perform. Not a stance unit, it's touching the ground. No, it's not. Look at this. 
Okay, I have big shoes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh boy. Well, let's do the back. No, that's perfect. Yeah. All so. right, down she goes. Devin, do a shoe test. All right. I could go a tad lower, but I'm gonna see how this car squats and handles. I don't know, like. I mean, they are new coilovers too, so. It should well, settle a little. I'm actually okay with how it looks though. That's fine. Now I just need to delete the camera. That that needs to go. So this wheel is gonna be, I'm gonna aim for zero or positive one degree. So when this car is sent into a clover leaf at 160, it squats and I have 100% track width on my stretched tires. They're not, yeah. <laughs> We need to do the best we can with what we have, okay? Devin donated these me donated me these wheels, and I donated him G35 Stock wheels. wheels. Stock I don't know how this happened. He manipulated me into driving my car, and it worked, and I love it, and I'm happy about it, and I thank him for it. But it costed me a lot of money. It's going to be great. Gonna have, it's going to be fun. It's going to be good. Just wait till you see his car. No. Oh, no. <laughs> we won't, we'll show his car on his terms which will probably be when it has like a hundred grand it dumped into it. But, ta-da, time to delete camber. I'm gonna be bringing it in for a proper wheel alignment. I did do an alignment on it. All I did was just adjusted the rear toe arms and I ran a string from the front rim and Devin was at the front and in the second to touch the back, I, I measured the gap because they're, they're staggered wheels. So I measured the gap of how far the string was sitting off of each side of the rim, and then figured out how much I needed to adjust my toe. Got that close, adjusted the ride height first, and the camber. So we are a perfect zero degrees of camber in the back of this car. Now the front does have some camber, which is okay for now, um, but what will end up happening in the future is I will be doing adjustable upper control arms to adjust camera in the front, but it's done. Devin corrected me, done for now. Ah. For now, which means it's going more places, but it's not done. It's not done. It's not done, done. It's not done, done. Dun, dun, dun. Well, I genuinely hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. The parts pile is gone, but that's not to say that more aren't gonna show up. Um, word vomit. Or opposite of word, but I can't think of anything. What was I gonna say? Oh, next we're gonna bumper tuck it. See you next time. One more thing I wanted to add um, in the mix of life being so hectic and everything. Um, I haven't done any driving clips or anything of the 350 because when it was put onto the hoist in its stock form, it didn't leave the hoist until it was completely modified. And pretty much the day after that was all finished. I took it to school, which it saw close to 7,000, or no, it was over 7,000 miles, close to 8,000 miles I put on that car for school. And so, I mean, I was in school and I, I'm not a content creator by any means. I'm just a guy using a camera. And so, you know, I've watched YouTube and stuff and I know that, you know, I should have followed up 
right away with uh, some driving mods and stuff. Also, when I was modding the car, there was snow on the ground, but realistically, I could have done some videos. But, you know, I'll, I'll do better as time goes on. I'm not perfect, I'm far from it, and I won't ever try to act like I'm perfect either. So, we'll get some driving clips here, some rollers, some sound clips, and I'm gonna get those as soon as possible and put them out there. But for the time being, uh, hopefully I can get those out soon. It's hectic, so I'm gonna do the best I can. And again, thanks for watching. Well, I hope you go in.